And the U.S. central bank has raised interest rates by half a percentage point. That's the most aggressive such increase in more than 20 years. The move is intended to tackle rapidly rising prices fueled by the war in Ukraine. With U.S. inflation at a 40-year high, further hikes are expected. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has tested positive for COVID-19. Mr. Blinken had hosted both the Mexican and Swedish foreign ministers in Washington over recent days. Joe Biden's foreign policy chief had been set to make a landmark speech regarding U.S. policy towards China on Thursday, but that has now been postponed. Local elections are taking place across the UK on Thursday. Seats in all local councils are being contested in Scotland and Wales. Voters in Northern Ireland will elect members of the Assembly at Scotland. In England, 4,500 councillors are fighting for re-election. Polling stations open at 7am and close at 10pm. Good morning. More bumper profits for the oil giants. This morning, Shell is expected to follow BP in announcing a huge increase in how much it made at the start of this year. I'll have the latest for you throughout the programme. Good morning. Heartbreak in Madrid. Manchester City were just minutes away from the Champions League final until one of the most remarkable turnarounds in footballing history. A tearful Amber Heard takes the stand for the first time in the defamation trial brought by her former husband, Johnny Depp. She alleges domestic abuse. I was the love of my life, but he was also this other thing. And that other thing was awful. The front page of the newspapers today, the Daily Mail's front page, has this image of Amber Heard. Uh, she was emotional after she took the stand for the first time yesterday in that defamation trial against uh, her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, was brought against her. Let's have a look at the Telegraph reporting that men with spare tyres, that's the diplomatic term, of excess fat around their waist are at greater risk of dying from prostate cancer. That's according to a new study. The Guardian's got an image of the Hand of God moment after Maradona's World Cup shirt sold for £7.1 million. A lot of interest in that story. Uh, and the hand of uh, Wad. <laughs> there you go. As the Metro's headline, you get the picture. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. An anonymous bidder, I think it was in the end.